All right, man. Sketch Pad Podcast. We back. So today we're going to be reacting to Rebel Moon Child of Fire trailer just dropped. And we're going to react to it. And we'll be back. Who raised you? Oh my god, this dude is so hard. Oh! Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't understand it neither. All right, yeah, man, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You will be notified. We will be dropping an episode every day. So make sure if you support Sketchpad Podcast, you support us. And if you want to donate, links in the description. We are working on getting the Super Chats fixed. So don't worry. We going to figure this thing out. So let's get into it, man. Rebel Moon official part one trailer, Child of Fire. Let's go. When I found you in the wreckage of that ship, I considered leaving you. I was afraid you could bring trouble to us. What do you think they want? Everything. We're just farmers, we're not a threat. They won't just kill us, will they? You're delusional. You think those soldiers will show them mercy? Searching for soldiers for a fight against the mother world. I could help you. A small fee, obviously. Yeah. You might want to hold on. I'm here to make you an offer. To give you a chance at redemption. We are beyond redemption. What about revenge? This isn't just pursuit of revolution. I have found her. The most wanted fugitive in the known universe. Zack Snyder, man. I'm just going to say this just off the back. Just Warner Brothers, y'all really fucked up. <laughs> Damn. <coughs> Damn. How could y'all not let this man do the next Justice League 2 and 3? I don't understand it. 
This guy did. He did 300. Man of Steel. Army of the Dead. Day of it was a dawn of the dead. Of uh, was it Guardians? The, the Guardians. He did. Uh, Sorry, Justice dude. League, yeah. Batman versus Superman, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Sucker Punch. Um, all of these movies he did. He didn't do. Uh... He didn't do that that uh that first or second suicide squad dude. No, that was did David. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. So you would know if it's a Zack Snyder movie. Trust and believe. Uh, his movies doesn't look like nothing you ever seen. Like his movies are like he has a different type of color. His color palette is different. And his he does everything himself. The cinema photography, he does himself. You know how you have like, and he creates his own type of lens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like a lot of his movies, they look different. You know what I'm saying? Because he takes these different type of shots and he's the master at slow motion. Like he loves slow motion. It's like mm-hmm. they said, they were saying like with the Justice League slow motion, it was like 45 minutes worth of slow motion in the movie. But it's the way he do it is it's intense but this movie here is his own universe he just created mm-hmm. and army of the dead is connected to this somehow he said they all share the same universe i don't know if you've seen army of the dead i have it but i'm gonna go see it now i'm gonna, I'm gonna go watch it now yeah we'll watch army of the dead <laughs> Watch Army of the Dead. It's a part in there. After you watch it, I'm going to see if you catch it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to see if you catch it. I guarantee you won't catch it. You know what I'm saying? And if you do, then you'll understand why he said this is a shared universe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Here's the thing about Zack Snyder. and, and people. What people don't understand is he's a very, very, very cryptic director and writer, right? He does a mm-hmm. lot of stuff. Oh, and he did Watchmen. Whoa. Like Watchmen was then he done that almost, I think almost twenty years ago or something, and it's still better than movies today. The special effects on Watchmen is better than movies today, and he did that like twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. And it's 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 the identical adaptation of the Watchmen. You ever wa- read Watchmen comic book? Mm-hmm. It's like the it's like the same exact thing as the comic book. Rorschach and Doctor Manhattan, the comedian, all of them. But anyway, so this is a show in shared universe. And the thing about Zack Snyder is his movies is like it's like I hate to compare it to Loaded Lux, but it's kind of like Loaded Lux, right? So Loaded Lux, if you listen to his his raps, you don't catch everything. So you got to listen to it again and again. You rewind. He, what do he say? You rewind. You rewind, and you uh, find there's more to, f- to find. That's what he said. You rewind. You find there's more to find. That's what Loaded Luck says. That's something like that to that effect. And it's hard as Zack Snyder is with his movies. You can't just get it right away because he does things, and then you you break it out. So like for example, in Batman versus Superman, the beginning of Batman versus Superman. And the end of Batman versus Superman is mirrored, right? So, well, not the, the beginning of Batman versus Superman and the end of Man of Steel is mirrored. So, for example, if you are, uh, let's say you're Batman and you're looking up at, in the sky, see Zod and Batman fighting from, from Batman versus Superman, you're looking at them fight. But in Batman vs. and Man of Steel, Batman is on the ground and they're fighting in the air. Mm-hmm. So two separate movies, but at the same exact time, he, he lined it up at the same exact time where 
Bat, you can you can see them in the sky, even though Batman wasn't. You ain't see Batman down there, but it was basically from di different vantage points. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, he, when Zod when Zod opened his eyes, you seen Man of Steel? When yeah. Zod opened his eyes and he and he lasered the building and the building mm -hmm. fell. Batman seen Zod laser the building from the ground. It was the same uh, special effects. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of directors won't even touch nothing like that. And that's what he does. You know what I mean? And also, most of his movies are like, they're like epic movies. You know what I'm saying? And he has, and he sometimes he don't even use a big budget. That's how good he is. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so with this movie here, I already know that this movie is going to be something special. Just, just judging off the actors he got in the movie. And he and and another thing about Zack Snyder, he doesn't hold back with his characters. They get killed off. So if you like a character, go on. You know what I'm saying? He he doesn't play. This is like a rated R Star Wars. They never had a rated R Star Wars. And no, in no, there's no film like this. You know what I'm saying? I hate to compare yeah. it to Star Wars, but you got to because that's yeah. pinnacle. So, but yeah, man. This is great, man. That was, woo, man. That was great. Nah, it was, nah, it was, it was a fire trailer. It was a fire trailer. Uh, um, just like the last one we seen, um, that was a fire trailer too. Um, this one was a little bit darker than the first trailer that we watched and did a reaction to. This one was a little bit darker. Um, that chick, she. she she was going in, man. Like she was snapping. She was snapping. Um, I'm, I'm very, I'm very anxious to, uh, you know, what I mean, watch this movie, uh, this series or whatever, and um, and uh, you know, like, get my first take of, you know, what I mean, really seeing something that's similar to Star Wars but totally different, in a lot mm -hmm. of ways. Cause you can see the Star Wars comparisons in the movie. You can see it, you know what I mean. But you could also see a lot of other stuff too that would probably make it darker, way darker than Star Wars. You know what I mean? So um, I, I definitely gonna watch for sure. I see my man. Uh, what's his what's this actor's name? Um, like dude. Yeah, German Hunter. Yeah, man. I see my man in there, man. Like, uh, yeah, he's he he's been busy, man. I seen him in a lot of superhero movies and um, a lot of like um, other movies. Like, I didn't expect him to see him, in, man. He's in there, so that's what's up. That's what's up. Like, yeah, uh, Jaman Jaman Hantu, man. He's 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 a <clears throat> well known. Well known actor, man. Well known. Yeah. Yeah. Ever since Blood Diamond. A, yeah. Ever since Blood Diamond. He's another guy that um I felt that um he could have been a um he could have been a decent Black Panther. I could see Black Panther with him. Um I could also see Mbaku with him too. I think I could definitely see Mbaku with him too. If they ever was to do a, a remake, you know, he could play either one of those characters. But yeah, that that's a little bit off topic. But yeah, man, I'm happy to see him in these movies because he's been doing this thing for a very long time. Yeah, I think that um, for me, this, this Zack Snyder doesn't when he comes out with something, it's it's a big deal, and I really believe that Warner Brothers really messed up. Like, they really messed up. They messed the bag up on this one. Like, Warner Brothers always messing the bag up, though. It's like, they always messing the bag up. Like, <clears throat> like ever since when Zach came, and I don't want to make this episode too long, but I got to say this. When Zach came to D.C., when he came to Warner Brothers, and he took over, he when he made Man of Steel, automatically they should have just let him be the creative director. Because... He did Man of Steel and he and he did some of Wonder Woman, the first one, which was classic. 
when he did that, because I think Patty Jenkins was the was director, but she didn't know which way to go with Wonder Woman. Then Zack Snyder came. It you can tell it's his written all over in the slow motion when she guy shot at her and she took his like beam with the guns. She jumped out the window. You know what I'm saying? The fight scenes. That's all Zack Snyder. All that is him. The pan into the camera when she's swinging the sword. Yeah, that's all him. He created that character anyway, because that's where she came from. She came from Batman versus Superman. <clears throat> she went into uh when she fought uh Doom when they fought Doomsday at the end. But anyway, um they messed the bag up with him. Netflix said, you know what, you could do whatever you want. And he told Netflix, I don't even need that much money. I'm I'm, I'm gonna kill it either way. I don't need that much money. But Warner Brothers are the is the only company that actively goes against the fan base opinion of what they want. Marvel is starting to do it now, but they actively do it. They tell them, they tell the fan, the fans tell them, we don't want, we don't want this. We don't want that. They, they make it anyway. And then they'd be like, well, this movie flopped. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Of course it's going to flop. Cause nobody wanted to see that. So they messed the bag up with Zach. They, st- I just don't understand it. They, sh- they the man said he would he would have did Justice League two and three. And it's like you don't let him do the, y'all best comic book movie is Zack Snyder's Justice League, hands down, by far. You can't compete. None of the other comic book movies y'all got can't compete with that. And he did it. So, but Rebel Moon, man. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. And and, and another thing too, before we get out of here, um, James Gunn is the head of DC. James Gunn did Guardians of the Galaxy, one, two, and three. James Gunn did Brightburn. James Gunn did Slither, and he did Suic- the, the Suicide Squad, the second one. With John Cena and he did Peacemaker. James Gunn is he's an okay director. His best movie to me, his best movie that he ever did is Guardians of the Galaxy One. Two was trash. Trash complete trash. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't understand how to even release two. Three was okay. Um in the holiday special he had. But that was his best movie was that. His best movie is not better than Zack Snyder's worst movie. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my opinion. That's one. Two, you can tell Zack Snyder doesn't that's Zack Snyder hasn't made a movie for, for Warner Brothers since 2017. He hasn't made a movie. And the people are still talking about him. We're in 2000. You got a whole new dude that's the head of the, the, the studio. And you're still talking about Zach. James Gunn put out a video talking about his new slate. Where he talked about all the things that's coming out. He only has 2 million views. And that came out, I believe, six months ago. Zack Snyder just dropped the Rebel Moon trailer. Guess how many views it got? The 12 million views. Sure. And it just came out a day ago. That tells you right there where everybody's at. Mm-hmm. 12 million views. And and you can't say it was because it's Warner Brothers. Because Warner Brothers, I believe they have more. Well, I don't know. But 12 million views versus two. Six months versus a day. Two days. So that just goes to show you. But either way, man. That was a great trailer, man. I hope y'all liked it. Hey, I had to spill my guts on this one. Sorry. But it is what it is. So Warner Brothers, y'all really messed the bag up. I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all, y'all retarded over there. Get y'all shit together.